and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, which is day four of my mega goal planning week extravaganza, is actually an unboxing video. And you guys might have noticed on the channel that I haven't really done an unboxing video in quite some time. And mostly that's because the things that I get contacted about aren't typically things that I think are appropriate or a good fit for the content that I create on here. However, this one, I had to make an exception because, oh my gosh. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about that, but I did want to kind of, before we get into the unboxing, talk about why this is my day four video. And it is because, so, so, if you guys have been following along this week, you will know that I have decided to make a couple of pretty significant changes to my planning setup for next year. And as I was kind of thinking through these changes, one of the things that I was kind of realizing was, you guys know that I love making my own notebooks and I definitely want to keep doing that in the future. I mean, basically my goal is to stop buying notebooks for the most part. The problem is that I already have a stash of notebooks and I have these notebooks that I love that I would like to use that I have just kind of not been using because I've started making my own. And so what I decided to do for this year is rather than make my own notebook, which I was actually fully planning to do until about a week and a half ago, I'm going to use one of the notebooks that I have in my stash and you guys will see why once we get to the actual unboxing. But I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and just use a purchase notebook that I have, mostly so that my stash doesn't go to waste. You know, it's one thing to stop buying notebooks and to stop consuming that sort of thing, but I have these things that I've already purchased that it would be wasteful for me to not use. So unfortunately, I am not making my own notebook this year. However, I'm actually super excited about it as you guys are gonna see in this unboxing. So. What is this unboxing? As you guys probably saw in the title, this is an unboxing for Galen Leather, and I I was really excited to work with them because, and this is not a sponsored video, they just sent me some stuff to try out and show to you guys if I thought I liked it, which of course I'm obsessed, like you guys are gonna see, it's amazing. Anyway, but one of the things that I really, really liked about this company is that at like the origin of the company, it is like a brother-sister family team, and the brother is carrying on his sister's memory after she passed away, and it's, oh, they do handmade leather goods, they have this like really, really wonderful like mission behind their, their company, and honestly, not a small factor, they're based out of Istanbul. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I dream of going to Istanbul one day and I, when I saw that they were based out of Turkey and I saw a couple, I didn't like go too in depth into different unboxings that I've seen from people, but I did see that they typically do send little goodies from Istanbul and I was like, that is such a cool touch and something that you don't often see in stationary companies. Like in some of the smaller ones, yes, but like I felt like it was a really unique approach um, to basically sharing their culture to the wider world and like just everything all about it. I was like, yeah, no, absolutely sign me up. I definitely want to check out their products. So. Rambly intro aside, without further ado, let's go ahead and head on over and I'm going to show you what they sent me and I'm going to talk about kind of how I'm going to use some of this stuff. So yeah, let's head on over. So this is the pile of goodies that I got from Galen Leather, which I will say I took it out of the box when I got it in the mail probably a week or so ago because I did a kind of informal unboxing for my patrons on Patreon during our weekly live chat, but I then repackaged everything up so that I could do an official unboxing with you guys. So I have kind of seen everything, but I haven't actually like really taken it out and played with it. So we're gonna do that today. So as you can see, I have this pile of goodies and can I just say their branding is on point. Like, oh, I'm obsessed. Anyway, so how are we gonna start? I think that we are gonna start with the little goodies that they include first because I just think this is a really, really sweet touch. So let's move this stuff over here. So I will definitely be keeping this little bag. I have no idea what I'm gonna use it for, but I will definitely find a use. So in here, they have a little Earl Grey tea, which I honestly, like Earl Grey is Earl Grey, but I love the fact that all of the writing is in Turkish because that's very, very cool to me. I, obviously, language nerd. Of course, I love that. Then they also have Turkish 
coffee, which I am going to be trying this. Maybe I'll do this after lunch today. Ooh, yeah. So they have instant Turkish coffee, which I have never had Turkish. Obviously, I've never been to Turkey. I've never had Turkish coffee, so I'm really excited to try this. My dad has had it, and he's talked about like it's a really strong coffee and all of that, so I'm really excited to test this out. And then the last is a little refreshing towel, which it apparently smells like Mandarin, but like how cute is that? I love the little designs on the package. So yeah, so those are some of the little goodies that they give you, which I think is really cool because for example, I didn't even know that there was such a thing as instant Turkish coffee, like <laughs> the more you know. So that is the little first bit. Next up, let's actually start, we're gonna kind of start small, go to big. So the next thing is this fountain pen, which, okay. This is apparently a Turkish company, which I didn't even know that there was such a thing as Turkish fountain pens. So I was like, uh, yes, absolutely, I do need to try this. Oh, I forgot to get out some ink. We're gonna go grab that in a sec. We'll do the unboxing first and then I'll play with stuff. So we have our little thing. So I think honestly, these like cardboard bits, I'm definitely gonna save some of them and cut them out and put them in my junk journal because they're just so pretty. Anyway, this box I will also probably save because that's really, really nice. Like it's a nice sturdy cardboard box that I could absolutely use for like sewing stuff. So this is the pen. Okay, excuse you, stay in, thank you. So this is the pen and I believe, if I remember, I think it's a piston fill. Oops, yeah, so it's a piston fill, so the back turns and you have like the plunger that goes down, which I think I only have like one or two piston fill pens, but I really like them. So we have our little pen. It is a medium nib, so I am curious to see how big that actually writes, but I was like, this is just so, so pretty and I love the burgundy color. So in a minute, I'm gonna grab some ink so we can actually test out, do a little pen test with it. But there, let's do, oops, there we go. The next thing I got, because they do, so they do leather goods, obviously they do some fountain pens, but they do leather goods, and one of the things that they have are notebooks, leather-bound notebooks that have Tomoe River paper, and they actually had a B6. I like, I couldn't believe it. So, also do you see this color? Like, oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. So, we have this little box here. Maybe I could use this for light cards. I'm sorry, you guys probably aren't here to see how I'm going to reuse all of this packaging, but like, honestly, it's so pretty that I don't wanna throw it away. And, do you hear that? There's a little like magnet in there. Like, yeah, we have to use that for something. Anyway, so. We have our little B6 notebook and it has Tomori River paper. So as you can see, it is blank. So one of the things that they gave me, well, they have it in all of them, I assume, are these little um, guide cards. I don't even know what you call these. So there's a 10 millimeter graph and a 10 millimeter lined. And then on the back, you have a seven millimeter lined and a five millimeter graph. So that is really, really handy. I don't yet know what I wanna use this notebook for, but I kind of think that maybe my longhand journal for next year, that that might be a really good use for this. And so it'll be really nice to have these grids because uh, yeah, I can't be trusted to write in a straight line on blank paper. So. Oh my gosh, it feels, and it like, it feels so, so very soft. So we've got a little fly page in here, and like you can see, like it just, it folds and lies nice and flat. All right, camera, we're gonna have words about focusing. Please do your job. So, lies nice and flat and all of that. So there's one other thing that was in here, and it's this little like bit of leather, which I don't know what, like is this protection? from the paper, like I don't actually know what this is for, but this is gonna go in my sewing stash, like obviously. At least I think it's leather, I don't actually know for sure. It feels kind of, it's got like kind of a weird sort of texture to it. I don't know, but anyway, it's gonna go in my sewing stash. So I think that most likely this is gonna be my journal for next year because it's just like so, so pretty, but I also know that I probably, I don't really want to use an unlined notebook for a bullet journal because that means that every time I need to set up a new spread or write, I need to pull out one of these cards. But for journaling in the morning, I feel like that's actually a totally normal thing to do. Like it wouldn't be super annoying to do that. So, and she's so pretty, oh my gosh. Okay, so there is this one. And then, the big baby. So the one that I was probably the most excited about and oh my gosh, yes, love, love this box. Like everything is just so like 
aesthetic and feels so nice, which I know that may sound kind of weird, but like, I think you know what I mean. So, oh my gosh, can I open the box? There we go. So we've got, oh, a notebook cover. Oh my gosh, let's see, can I get it out? So one of the things, so first off, at the bottom of the box, you have this postcard, so the Enchanting Maiden's Tower, which this is fully just gonna go up on my bulletin board where I put all of the pretty things that I like. I mean, there's obviously some like useful stuff on my bulletin board, but a lot of it is just like really pretty images and cards and stuff I get in the mail. So this is for sure going to go up there, it's so pretty. And then there's also, there's a little 10% off deal. So there's also this little card that has their story so you can read all about how this brother and sister team started their leather company and all of that. And actually I think it's probably on their website as well if you wanna read more about it, but I just thought that this was a really nice thing to include. And then on the other side, they actually have an explanation of the evil eye charm, which unfortunately I forgot this in the bottom of the little packet, but I just grabbed it. So it was in the bottom of my little bag over here so they send a little glass evil eye charm which this is also going to go up on my bulletin board because I have had not so great luck with putting really pretty charms and stuff on my keys and they get kind of destroyed so I'm not even going to try it I'm just going to put it directly on my bulletin board so that I can always look at it but it'll stay safe so you have the little explanation of what it is and what it's used for and all of that which I think is really nice because like if you're going to you know, as part of your company, if you're also going to use it as a way to like share some of your culture, I think that's a really, really lovely thing to include the explanation so that when customers get it, they're not just like, oh, that's really pretty, okay, cool. You know, they can actually read the story behind it. So I really like that. Anyway, getting distracted. <laughs> so I'm gonna move our box over here. And once again, I will 100% be keeping this box for something because it's so sturdy. So now we have our notebook cover. So let's do, oh. Take off the little flappy thingy. There we go. So I got, and you might notice that uh, where possible, I got this dark green. I think it's like their forest green or something. And I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that is like the perfect color. It actually, coincidentally, I had decided to paint my nails green this week and I like hadn't done that on purpose. But then once I was like, oh, I'm gonna be doing this unboxing, I picked out one of my few green shirts to wear for filming because I was like, yeah, gotta kinda go with the theme. Anyway, so this is the notebook cover. And if I remember correctly, these are hand sewn. So when you order them, they can take a couple of weeks to actually ship out because they're basically made to order if I remember. But like, oh, look at how pretty. I love how you can already kind of start to see some of like the wear on the leather. So you can see, for example, the little like scratches that'll build up and all of that. Yeah, obsessed. So let's take a look inside. There we go. So on the inside, ta-da, you've got a little keychain-y kind of thing, which I actually will probably just go ahead and take this out. Maybe I, maybe this I'll put on my keys. But yeah, I don't like to have little flappy things inside, so I'll take this out. But you have a little keychain kind of doohickey. And then on the left side, you've got, so this comes out, so you can do basically fountain pen storage in there and you can slide it in there or you can take this out and kind of keep this elsewhere and then you have a little like card thing a little flap here you've got a couple of little card dividers and then this one I don't actually know how deep this one goes down I don't have anything here let me use this Doo -doo -doo. so let's see how deep this is so it's like an index card like deep so I don't know what you would keep in there necessarily honestly even though I use notebook covers all the time I don't actually use the pockets in them very frequently so I'm probably not the person to ask so then you also have in the back you can slide some papers which is oh dear oops gotta move my evil eye out of the way there we go so I do always have little papers and stuff that I slide in so I will definitely use that and then you've also got room for two more pens and something a little bit wider. I think on their website they show like maybe a, a charger cable or something like that in here. I don't quite remember. But again, like I, depending on how I actually use notebook covers, I will probably just put random stuff in here as opposed to doing this specifically for things on the go. So then in the back you've got, all right, so this is your little kind of like pocket so you can put your notebook in there, which obviously this is not the correct size because I got a B6 notebook, but this is an A5 notebook cover. Ta-da, there we go. So you can just slide your notebook in the back there and then it zips up. So 
Oh my gosh, I am so excited. So, as you guys might have guessed, I've decided that I'm gonna go back to an A5 notebook because I am dying to use this notebook cover for my bullet journal next year. So you guys are gonna see this in tomorrow's video. I will show you the notebooks that I'm using, but I am actually gonna go back to a Leuk term, specifically because I have like three or four that I had purchased or had been gifted to me a long time ago that I wanna go ahead and use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a Leuk term. And the added benefit is that it actually will fit really nicely inside this notebook cover. So we will get into that more in tomorrow's video, but yeah, so actually before, before, I let you go, oh my gosh, this is like brand new, so I have to get the zipper to kind of go. Before I let you guys go, I'm gonna go grab some stuff to fill up this pen and do a pen test. So I've just grabbed this Copper Noir, which I cannot for the life of me remember the brand of this, maybe Montferde? I don't know, I no longer have the outer box, and as you can see, there's actually no branding on this. I got this at the DC Pen Show, like, two years ago when I was back for a visit. So just have my ink, I have my little paper towel that I use just to kind of keep from getting things on my table. And I also grabbed a couple of pieces of paper because until I see how this writes, I don't want to go directly into a notebook. So I'm just going to kind of lay this out. Let's move everything leather so it is out of the way. So I don't accidentally destroy something. There we go. So let's give this a go. Um, oh dear. And if you are an actual fountain pen person, don't come at me. I'm probably doing it wrong. I did not clean the pen first or anything, but meh. Ugh, I'm always too impatient to do that. So, and also you can definitely tell I picked an ink that was kind of close in color to this pen. I do have a burgundy ink, but I was like, ooh, I really want to do the copper noir first. All right, so let's see how this goes. All right, it looks, yes, good, 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 good. So we are full of ink, as you can see there. So I'm gonna just set this here. Ugh, this is why we have a paper towel. That's the one thing about the piston fill pens is they are so messy. Cause you just like dip the whole thing in the inkwell. There we go. Let me just actually, I'm gonna close that for a second until I get, oh, and fully got ink on my fingers. That's cool. All right. And actually it seems like that fills I, obviously you're not gonna be able to tell, but it seems like it actually fills with a fair amount of ink, which is really nice because I have a couple of pens that I love that, ooh, that, that went through, whoops. I'm gonna just do it on that side. I have a couple of pens that I love that it feels like there's like two seconds worth of ink in there, which is super annoying because a lot of times, like I typically use fountain pens to write in my longhand journal and it's really annoying to have to refill them super frequently. So I am, ooh, and actually I probably, there might be a way to fill it more but until I kind of get to know this pen, I didn't want to like kind of force it. Um, so we'll see. So let's see. How do you write? All right, obviously this is crap paper. <laughs> so I will say that like in comparison, I basically always write with an extra fine nib. So for me, this is quite wide. However, however, it does write really nicely. It doesn't seem like there's any skipping. I am getting a ton of feathering because of um, the paper I'm using. So let me just grab, how does it work in my Projo? I don't know if you guys can tell, but today's gonna be a filming day. So I've got a bunch of stuff out to work on. So we're gonna go ahead and just do the last page. Let's see. Ooh, that writes really nicely. So. That actually writes really well. When it's not on really crappy paper, it works lovely. <laughs> Obviously, you can see here on my computer paper, it feathered and bled a bunch, whereas on this, which I think is 90 or 100 GSM, obviously there's no threading, no, no threading, no feathering. There is almost a little bleed through. So it does put down a lot of ink, but like it still does write really nicely. <laughs> I never know what to write for these. Hello, I'm a pen. <laughs> and so that one, kind of knowing that I'm not gonna like press, you know, when I know I have a pen that's going to almost bleed through a little bit, then what I try and do is not like rest the pen on the paper, because obviously that's gonna put down a bunch more ink. Oh my gosh, there's ink everywhere. Anyway, so that is that pen. So now I have, and I've actually been meaning to 
uh, ink up a pen with this ink because I haven't used it in a while, so I'm really excited because now I have a pen that I can use that. So I think maybe, maybe I need to try it in with my uh, journal, my rotation of journal pens and see how it writes in my longhand journal. So we'll see how that goes. So this is what Galen Leather sent to me and let's head back on over and do the little wrap up. So there you have it, just a little unboxing and I just want to say a big thank you to Galen Leather for sending me everything. Honestly, they reached out and they were like, hey, like we'd be interested in sending you a couple of things to check out, share with your audience if you like it. And so I sent them a couple of things that I'd be interested in getting, not expecting the bounty that they sent me. So I am very, very appreciative and I am so, so, so excited to use the, well, this. I'm so excited to use this notebook cover for next year. And actually, before we completely finish up, I just wanna show you. So I'm gonna be using this as my notebook cover. I am also going to be using a copper light term. I still have one left and I was like, I wanna use it. I love these copper light terms. I mean, you guys can see I've got at least, well, I actually only ended up using one. So this is gonna be my second copper light term. So I was like, you know what, I think this will go really, really nicely together. And I just really want to use this one up before I completely make the switch over to doing handmade notebooks, so perfect. So I also pulled out one of my end books, which if you saw yesterday's video, you kind of know how some of these changes are going, but we're gonna like really deep dive into what that actually means for my setup tomorrow. So that is all I have for you guys for today. I am going to do my best to link everything in the description box, so specifically the products that Galen sent me so that if you want to go and check them out, you can, as well as their websites, so you can go and give them a little follow. They're also on Instagram and their pictures are so aesthetic. Uh, so yeah, that is all I have. If you guys have any comments or questions, let me know down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye! guys, so if you've made it all the way to the end of this video and are actually watching my end screen and you're not subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would. There's a little button right there for you to do it. And if you're interested in watching some more of my videos, I have links to two of my older videos off to the left there, so you can check those out if you would like to, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!